What's good, YouTube? In today's video, I want to talk to y'all about Malika Andrews and how she covered Adrian Payne's death. Now, today's video is going to be a comparison video. So, with that being said, man, make sure I give this video a thumbs up. Let's push it out to the algorithm. Let's try to get a thousand plus likes on this video. Y'all been crushing it on the Malika Andrews videos, man. Without y'all, these videos wouldn't be doing the numbers that they are doing. So, I just want to say I appreciate y'all. Salute to y'all. So, with that being said, let's get started in today's video. Um, shifting gears, uh, former Michigan State star Adrian Payne was shot and killed in Orlando, Florida early Monday morning, the Orange County Sheriff's Office said, and, and Payne was the 15th pick by the Atlanta Hawks in 2014, played four seasons in the NBA with multiple teams. In 2018, he was waived by the Magic after he was named in a report by ESPN's Outside the Lines that he'd been involved in an alleged sexual assault at Michigan State in 2010. No charges were filed in that case. Prior to playing in the NBA, Payne was a member of the All-10, All-Big Ten second team in two of his four seasons with Michigan State. All right, man, so um, I did my reaction to that video on my channel. Y'all can go check it out. I have the link in the description box are pinned up above. You should see something come up right here. And uh, yeah, man, so that's Malika Andrews, and that's how she covered Adrian Payne's death. Now, here's an NBA writer who passed away a couple of months ago, Jonathan Charks. He passed away due to cancer, and here's how Malika Andrews covered his death. Here's the video. I do want to take a moment to acknowledge Jonathan Charks, an NBA writer for The Ringer who died over the weekend after a battle with a rare form of cancer. And he was just 35 years old. Charks wrote extensively about the Mavericks and we at NBA Today send our heartfelt condolences to his wife, Melissa, and his son, Jackson, and his entire family. NBA Today will be right back. So like I said, man, I'm not going to hold y'all too long in this video. Y'all already see where I'm going with this, right? Look at how it was short, sweet, simple. She looked like she damn near had tears in her eyes. It was compassionate. If his family heard that, they could say, wow, thank you, ESPN. Thank you, Malika Andrews. That was so nice of you to do that. And then you go to Adrian Payne's video. Imagine his family having to hear that. I would be pissed off if I was Adrian Payne's family. So with that being said, man, y'all come on down to the comment section. I would love to hear y'all thoughts on this comparison. Like, share, comment, and subscribe. This is Self Talk for Self Talk News. I catch y'all on the next video. If you're a new sub, comment down new sub. If you've been around to the page, just say salute. I appreciate y'all, and that's my time, y'all. And we out. You made it this far in the video. Don't forget to hit that like button. Subscribe if you're new and leave a comment down below. If you would like to support the channel, you can do so by hitting the cash app at Self Talk YouTube. Thank you.